Hi, Mr. Richards here. Today's grade six, unit two, lesson 10, practice problems review. A slug travels three centimeters, so three centimeters, in three seconds. A snail travels six centimeters in six seconds. Both travel at constant speeds. May said the, tra the snail was traveling faster because it went a greater distance. Do you agree with May? Explain or show your reasoning. Well, no, I don't. If we simplify this down to how much or how far do they go in one second, if I divide the top and bottom of this ratio here by three, we would get one centimeter in every one second. And if we simplify the snail by dividing by six and six, on the top and bottom here, we would end up with one centimeter for one second. And so they both simplify to be the exact same thing. So do I agree with May? No. Explain or show your reasoning. Well, we showed it. You can say slug and snail both travel at one centimeter per second. Let's move on to question two. If you blend two scoops of coffee or chocolate, hello, I need some coffee. If you blend two scoops of chocolate ice cream with one cup of milk, you get a milkshake with a stronger chocolate flavor than if you blended three scoops of chocolate ice cream with two cups of milk. Explain or show why. Well, if we start off with this two scoops, yum yum, of ice cream with one cup of milk, and we compare that then to three scoops of ice cream with two cups of milk. Well, if I multiply and have a double batch here of the first, that gives me four scoops of ice cream to two cups of milk. And now I can compare these things, the four cups of ice cream to two cups of milk and the three uh, scoops of ice cream to two cups of milk. Basically, if you have four scoops of ice cream to two cups of milk, that is going to be more chocolate. I'm not sure if chocolatey is a word, but we'll go with it. More chocolatey than three ice creams to the same two cups of milk. Number three, there are two mixtures of paint and it's light purple. Mixture A is made with five cups of purple and two cups of white. Mixture B is made with 15 cups of purple and eight cups of white. Which mixture is a lighter shade of purple? Explain or show your reasoning. Well, for A, if we have five purple, two white and B is 15 purple to eight white. Well, a couple different ways to be able to compare these. What I'm going to try to do is say, well, what if I had eight cups of white paint in this mixture A? I can get that by taking a times four batch. So if I multiply this 4 and 5, I get 20 purple to the 8 white versus the 15 purple to the 8 white. Now more purple would be stronger purple. And so the lighter shade of purple here is B. B is lighter. there is less 
purple for the same white. Question four. Tulip bulbs are on sale at store A at five for eleven dollars. And the regular price at store B is six for thirteen. Is each store pricing tulip bulbs at the same rate? Explain how you know. Well again at store A here, we have this eleven dollars for five. B is thirteen dollars for six. Well, if I divide by 5 here on top and bottom for A, 11 divided by 5 is $2.20 for this one bulb. If I do something similar here for store B and see how much does one cost here, 13 divided by 6 is Two dollars and one with the six repeating, so seventeen for one. And so, are they at the same rate? No. Um, and actually, A is more expensive. By about three cents a bulb. Let's continue on. Question five. A plane travels at a constant speed. It takes six hours to travel 3,360 miles. What's the speed in miles per hour? Yeah, right? So for A, 3,360 miles in six hours. For miles per hour, I need to get this to be one hour, and how many miles? So if I simply divide six by six, I get one. So I need to divide the top here by six, and 3,360 divided by six is 560 miles per hour. And so 560 miles per one hour is our solution for A. In B, 10 hours, well, if I now multiply going this way, 1 by 10, I get 10. So if I go 560 times 10, my solution is 5,600 miles in those 10 hours. A pound of ground beef costs $5 in question 6. At this rate, what is the cost of three pounds, half a pound, fourth a pound, three-fourths pound, three and three-fourths pounds, these leaks? Anyways, if it's five dollars a pound, I can take five times three to get fifteen dollars. I can take five times one-half to get two dollars and fifty cents. I can take five times one-fourth here to get a dollar twenty-five, and just so you know mentally, how did I get there? Well, a fourth is half of a half. If a half is two dollars and fifty cents, and a fourth is half of a half, then half of two fifty is a dollar twenty-five. Now, I can do some similar math logic here to five times three fourths. If five times one fourth is a dollar twenty-five, three of those fourths would be three dollars and seventy-five cents. Or you could say a half plus a fourth is three fourths, and so two fifty plus a dollar twenty five is three seventy five. And now likewise, if I had three and three fourths, well I have three and three fourths here, and so I can just add those up to get eighteen dollars and seventy five cents for three and three fourths pounds. Question seven. Got a triple batch of spice mix. There are six teaspoons of garlic powder and 15 teaspoons of salt. Answer the following questions about the mix. If you get stuck, consider using a double number line. How much garlic powder is used for five teaspoons of salt? 
Well, we had six teaspoons of garlic powder to 15 teaspoons of salt. And now we want to get to five teaspoons of salt. Well, what are we doing here? 15 divided by three gets me to the five salt. So if I take six and divide by three, I would get two teaspoons of the garlic powder. How much salt is used with eight teaspoons of garlic powder? Well, if I have six garlic powder to 15 salt, can we simplify this at all? If I, once again, if we use what we did in question A and divide by three, this is equal to two teaspoons of garlic powder to five teaspoons of salt. And that can be much easier to work with then because I'm looking for eight teaspoons of garlic powder. Well, right now I'm at two teaspoons of garlic powder. And so if I were to multiply by four here, I would end up with the eight garlic powder that we're looking for over five times four is the 20 teaspoons of salt. Now, if there are 14 teaspoons of spice mix, how much salt is in it? Wow. Now, this is looking for a total. And so, if we consider some of our different batches here, and this is definitely where the number line could come in handy, or you can kind of expand it, but let's sketch out a number line here because it's at this point where I think it could be really helpful to see a visual. When I'm at zero, I'm at zero. And we'll do, we've been doing garlic powder first and then salt on the bottom. We started off with the six to 15 ratio. And we broke this down by dividing into thirds into a two to five ratio. Well, if we fill in the blanks here, counting by twos, that's four, counting by five, that's 10. Now, if I looked for in this middle section here, the total, the total spice mix. When I had zero of each, that was zero. When I had two garlic powder and five salt, that was seven. When I had four garlic powder and 10 salt, that's 14. And so there's my answer hidden in plain sight with this number line. If I have 14 teaspoons of spice mix, I have 10 teaspoons of salt. Yeah, the double number line can definitely help us here. Um, another way to solve that before I get to D would be to say, all right, if I'm at, and this is continuing C here, if I'm at two garlic powder to five salt, that total is seven. So if I double this, I'm now at four garlic powder to 10 salt. And that's a way to get to 14. And so if you can think that way, you can certainly use that to get to your 10 salt as well. Or you could visually draw the number line. That's what makes this so much uh, fun in a way is you have multiple ways of getting to the same solution. Now, in D, how much more salt is there than garlic powder if six teaspoons of garlic powder are used? Well, we have our initial ratio, ratio, right? We have six garlic powder 
to 15 salt. So how much more salt than garlic powder if six teaspoons of garlic powder are used? 15 minus six is our solution of nine teaspoons of salt. And that's going to be it for this lesson. Grade six, unit two, lesson 10 practice problems review. Good luck.